Hey, it's Lacey, and welcome back to Satoshi Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to get a pearl in Katari Fables. You'll need a pearl to complete two quests, the Cheeky Merchant from Miss Apple and Suspicious Deal from Pumpkin. The latter can grant you an achievement if you play your cards right. Pearl is also a crafting component you'll need to upgrade some pretty awesome gear, or they can be farmed to sell for a substantial amount of pop pennies. You'll want to head to East Cars Hills using the teleporter location. You'll need to have made it through the Mountain Pass quest to unlock this area. To get a pearl, we need to defeat the mini-boss, Snow Monster. Once in East Karst Hills, you'll find multiple hostile mobs, including Fluffus, I think that's how you say it, which are basically a more aggressive Fluffy with more hit points. You'll also find Stone Fiends, which will follow you to the ends of the earth if you get on their radar. You'll want to remove all hostile mobs from the area of the Snow Monster mini-boss before continuing, as they'll be hard to manage alongside the boss, especially the Stone Fiend, as they will stun you, and Snow Monster, if you happen to hit him, can freeze you, and if you get multiple enemies in one spot, you'll be defeated before the stunner freeze even wears off. The snow monster is docile, meaning he won't attack you unless you attack first, so do your best to clear the other enemies before initiating the fight. The snow monster is often in the area just west of the teleporter, but occasionally he's in the teleporter area, which is ideal because it's an isolated space from other mobs. If he isn't near the teleporter, you can bring him here by hitting him and getting him to chase you. I found he's easiest to defeat in this space, as minimal mobs will spawn or be in this area. The snow monster has a massive ranged area of effect spell that inflicts freeze damage over time, and can freeze the player nice, so you'll want to be wary of this one. He also has a close range grab he will do if you are in close proximity, often after he chases you. Both are easy to avoid by noting when he's going to attack and dodge using roll. Once defeated, he has a 100% guaranteed drop rate of one pearl. He may also drop various keys, spheres, and vengeful souls. I've had great success farming him for gold keys, which is pretty awesome, and he's an easy boss to farm due to the proximity of teleporters. Be sure to save your first pearl, as you'll need to turn this into pumpkin to progress two main story quests I mentioned earlier, Suspicious Deal and The Cheeky Merchant. So that's how you find Pearl in Katari Fables. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. It helps the channel a lot. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, and if you found my content useful. I hope to see you again next time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!